Welcome back everyone, it's me Michael Malachite here with another Gen 2 Shiny for you all. Uh, about a few weeks ago, I was up super early in the morning, I couldn't get some sleep, so the urge inside of me told me to Shiny Hunt, and not but 30 minutes later from Sweet Scenting, I found my target in Dark Cave, a Shiny Geodude. It's kind of brown, kind of like a, yeah, like a dull brown color right now. And um, eventually, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but Geodude in Generation 2 is completely different from what you know and love it by. The, uh, the gold color and whatnot. Uh, in the old games, it's more of like a clay brown color. And Graveler is a little different looking, and Golem is the best for last. By far, the coolest shiny Golem. The coolest shiny Golem that I've seen in any other game. Also compared to like Alolan Golem and whatnot. So right now, I'm actually just trying to level up this Geodude and evolve it on camera for you guys. Uh, we can take a look at Shiny Graveler together, which is a little more orange. And here we are. Also, I named the Geodude, if you haven't noticed, uh, Meteora, after another musical reference, um, one of Linkin Park's best albums. And here we go. Shiny Geodude evolves into Shiny Graveler. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Look at the orange. That's great. Oh, I love it. And it brings me flashbacks because I remember when I was a kid, um, playing these games were kind of hard when you didn't have all the Pokemon knowledge. This is me when I was like 10 years old or younger. Uh, and I always use a Graveler early on because Graveler learned great ground moves like Magnitude and Earthquake. And um, obviously I didn't have anyone to trade with back then. Uh, to evolve into a golem, so it usually stayed a graveler. So there's a little appreciation for it. <laughs> that back sprite, it's like it's digging itself out of a hole, like, save me, please. We'll use magnitude real quick. But it is cool, once again, to get a shiny of a Pokemon that's really common in most Pokemon games. The graveler and Geodude line are all over the place. So we're going to show it off one more time, and then we're going to trade into Shiny Golem. We're going to see all the evolutions today, Geodude, Graveler, and Golem. That's what this DS right here is doing. Um, I'm just waiting for it to be trade, um, waiting for a trade to happen after a couple more sparkles. Sounds just like Rhyhorn or Charizard, I swear. Some of the cries in Gen 1 and Gen 2 are just so similar. So we're actually gonna trade over. No hate to Graveler, but he is definitely my least favorite of the three evolution line. Um, let's take a look at the summary screen. Now this is Silver, once again. Um, the game that actually took forever to find my shiny Chikorita. There's my shiny Drowsy, Pink Floyd. There it is, Sweet Leaf, the shiny Chikorita, the longest hunt I've ever done. Cleffa from a little, um, little odd egg and Magmi from the odd egg. I think that's all my Pokemon. Oh yeah, and there's just my sweet center. So we're gonna look at the summer screen one more time. Say goodbye to Graveler. We're gonna trade him over. I'm sorry, her. And we're gonna get the Golem. So like I said, for those who haven't seen Golem in generation two, it is absolutely by far the best way a golem could look. It, it's so different from any other game you've seen golem in. So we're going to invite, join. That's why I made it kind of a side quest to go for a uh, Geodude during the daytime hours. And once nighttime rolled around, I would be going for Shiny Ghastly in Sprout Tower. Unfortunately, during Spooktober, I did not get the Shiny Ghastly in Sprout Tower. This would be my second Shiny Ghastly going for the uh, full Ghost Evolution line. In Gen 2. But I did get Shuppet day one in Generation 3. And I got a couple other good Pokemon. I know I got like Lunala from the DAs, uh, Chikorita, obviously. So I may go back for Shiny Ghastly. But it was really nice to get another great, quick uh, Shiny in Gen 2 in the same file that took me forever uh, going for that Chikorita. So we're going to trade the Graveler for a Geodude. Boom, here we go. Thank you all for your patience. I know trading isn't the quickest thing, 
but it's the only way to evolve a Graveler. And like I said, you're gonna love it when you see Shiny, shiny Golem. It is so cool. I'm only gonna leave the volume on for one of these devices, <laughs> or else two might mess with your head. Okay, the regular Geodude. I'm gonna switch the volume over to now this DS, because here comes the Graveler. It's so good to have this set up again, where uh, my gaming table has everything the way I wanted to, including that awesome N64 controller and my glowing Pac-Man characters in the back. Here we go, guys, the evolution. It's gonna look so good, I'm so excited. This is why I hunted it. Wow! <laughs> it's like terracotta orange, almost like a molten magma rock. I love the pink and orange versus like the, um, the, the, the gold and like beige color that you usually see in a shiny golem. Trade completed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel the trade. Actually, we're gonna trade the golem back because this is the file that I'm actually using the golem on. And it'll be nice to see it on the big screen. And then after that, we're gonna show off a couple shiny sparkles. That's going to be the day. I really hope you guys are as excited to see Shiny Gen 2 Golem as I am. This is, once again, one of the best parts about Gen 2. You see Shiny Pokemon in their earlier color, uh, the earlier colors, where some people may see other Shiny Pokemon nowadays and never know these ones exist. For example, uh, Charizard was purple with green wings back in the day, and now we all know it as that beautiful charcoal black with the crimson wings. Very fun. I may even go for a Charmander one day, may even hatch one. Uh, Bulbasaur and Charmander would be really fun egg hunts to do in this game. Gotta love these old graphics, man. Gotta love Gen 2 forever and ever. Okay, we're gonna switch the volume over to this DS. The trade is completed, and now bear with me a few more moments, and we are gonna go check out this Golem. Now, if I recall, I don't believe anyone actually has a Golem in Gen 2. Maybe Brock, but I think he just has a Graveler. I don't think anyone has a Golem in Gen 2. That's another one, another thing I love about playing in Gen 2. You can sometimes play this game so many times where you want to do something different with your party, something that you haven't seen. And there's actually a lot of cool Pokemon that you don't see on every other trainer, which makes them a little more unique to your party. Golem being one of them, Dunsparce, uh, Heracross. You don't see any of these Pokemon in any other trainers. Th those are just a few examples. So we're going to close this game. We're going to center this one. I believe Golem is in the front of the party. Not yet. Let's check out the stats. Look at that. Yeah, like orange and red. A little brown, but it's more of like as if it's like a molten rock versus the gold and beige, which are a little more subtle in Golem. This is really stark. I like how dark and um, fiery looking this Golem is. I may even teach it Fire Punch just for fun. Kind of goes with the, the Meteor vibe of Meteora. So we have a Drowsy versus... <laughs> I'm sorry. You already know what I'm gonna say. That's not Golem. <laughs> Let me switch it to the front. Even though Shiny Drowsy versus Drowsy is really fun. And here we are. Let's close this video off with a couple encounters. You know what? Just in case this takes another 50 minutes to find an encounter, that is why we always have Sweet Scent. I will live by Sweet Scent. As a matter of fact, I'm Sweet Scenting double right now for Relicamp. Dude, what is that back sprite? It's like he's falling into the game. <laughs> Help me! Kind of reminds me of um, that classic Yu-Gi-Oh card trap hole. <laughs> I think Go Golem is falling down lower than Graveler. 
And one last time, shiny golem. <laughs> oh, that back sprite's hilarious. Take care, everyone. Good luck. Enjoy the last two months of the year. Take care. Shiny Golem just fainted. <laughs>